From high atop Healthcare Hill in Central Maryland, this is BSN Headline News. Today's top story is Recognition Day. Every year, Bon Secours Health System celebrates Recognition Day, a day that marks the anniversary of the founding of the Sisters of Bon Secours. The year was 1824. The location was Paris, a time of devastation following the French Revolution. A group of 12 women, led by the Spirit, came together to form the Congregation of the Sisters of Bon Secours, French, for good help. The sisters left behind the security of their cloister to nurse the sick and dying in their homes. Their purpose then, as now, is to bring the gospel message that there is a God who loves us. Recognition Day celebrates the ministry of the Sisters of Bon Secours and the gifts of the system's co-workers in ministry. This year, Recognition Day was celebrated throughout Bon Secours Health System on January 24th. Each local system celebrates in their own way, including prayer services, a moment of recognition to thank co-workers in ministry, or assembling to share a meal and stories of co-workers who have marked significant milestones with Bon Secours. But however Recognition Day was celebrated in your local system, the celebration recognizes Bon Secours' heritage of being good help to those in need. The ministry of the Sisters of Bon Secours began in 1824 and continues today through you and your co-workers. From all of us here at BSN Headline News, thank you for everything you do every day. Good help to those in need comes in many forms, but it certainly does not come without you. In other news, Bon Secours' 2010 annual report to the community is now widely available for anyone to review. Every year, Bon Secours publishes its annual report to the community to coincide with Recognition Day, and this year was no exception. What was different was the content, and we would encourage everyone to read it if you get a chance. This year, the theme is A Future Filled with Hope. Inside, you'll find a message from Donald Seitz, M.D., Chairperson, Board of Directors, and Rich Statuto, President and CEO. The annual report talks about Bon Secours' strategic goals. It highlights clinical transformation, connect care, clinical leadership, the patient care summit, education and training, talent connection, community commitment, ecological stewardship, and global ministries. You can read about the good work coming from Bon Secours Health System's Mission Fund. Additionally, the annual report talks about quality awards from each local system. It's very impressive. You can find out about Bichy Financial Sustainability and Bon Secours Fiscal Year 2010 Financials. But it is important to note that while most of the annual report covers what has happened in 2010, it also looks toward the future with an eye on growth. Yes, the Bon Secours Health System annual report to the community for fiscal year ending 2010, entitled A Future Filled with Hope, is available for everyone to read. If you would like to read Bishi's annual report, log on to IRIS and search for the term 2010 Annual Report. There, you will be able to read and or download the complete publication. The Bon Secours Health System's Annual Report, A Future Filled with Hope. Get your copy today. Finally, in 1999, Bon Secours Health System created a special fund for the sole purpose of meeting the needs of those who are poor and underserved in the community served by the health system. Health care and women's and family support services are an important focus. Since its inception, the Bon Secours Mission Fund has awarded 190 grants, totaling more than $15 million, to 24 domestic and international communities. Impacting thousands of lives, the funded projects include those that provide education, job training, and daycare services to help enable people to become self-sufficient. The seed money provided by the Mission Fund has allowed many programs to flourish. You can review all the grants and gifts from 2010 in the Bishi Annual Report to the Community. For 2011, we are happy to report 
that 15 applications totaling $765,450 have been approved in the fall cycle. We are running the list now, but if you would like details, please contact Ed Gerardo, Director of Community and Social Investments. Bon Secours Hope for the Future includes good help for those who are poor and underserved, and the Mission Fund is one way we live that hope daily. Well, that's it for this week. Stay tuned to this portal for future up-to-the-minute information on these and other stories on BSN Headline News. I'm Dave Schlachter. Thanks for joining us. BSN Headline News is a production of Bomb Secure Productions and is solely responsible for its content.